Hi, good morning. How's everyone doing? First session. So hopefully uh, it's going to be exciting. So how many of you know about NVIDIA? All right. OK, good, good. So um, NVIDIA pioneered accelerated computing. We help companies with AI. In automotive, we personally work with pretty much all the automakers. We help transform them. And I am responsible for Gen AI in automotive and uh, here to talk about what we do. So um, when you look at automotive Gen AI use cases, it's a breadth of use cases, all the way from transforming enterprises, helping dealerships, repair shops, um, enhancing in-cabin experiences, um, self-driving, as well as uh, you know, helping with design and manufacturing. So there's a lot of use cases that we can help automotive companies. My colleague, Ali Khani, is going to focus on autonomous vehicles, self-driving at uh, the keynote, main, uh, main forum. The, please don't miss that. And then we are going to also talk about industrial AI in another session. I'm going to focus primarily on the first two buckets that you see here, enterprise and in-vehicle. So quick uh, uh, fun fact here. Um, obviously, you know enterprises are shifting to AI. But uh, there's a lot of complexities in terms of adoption. Only 1% have mature AI deployments. It's a problem, you know. You need, you need help there, right? And we are here to help companies. Of course, with our ecosystem of partners, we are not here alone. And so I uh, just want to make sure you're aware of that. So how does NVIDIA do it? Uh, NVIDIA helps by doing an, what we call an AI factory. An AI factory is essentially the compute, the software, the tools, to handle all the verticals, whether it's agentic AI, you know, physical AI, and um, you know, HPC like CAE workflows. So uh, we have a suite of tools and platform to help you. And um, I'll just go into one area specifically for agentic AI. It's, um, it's this journey of tools, what we call NVIDIA NEMO. And, and essentially, it starts from data acquisition, data curation, all the way to training, inference. Um, you know, I don't know how much you know, all know about the journey here, but there is guardrails, there's RAG pipeline, so you can do all sorts of fun stuff, and at a lower TCO. So that's NVIDIA's value prop here. By providing that AI factory with optimized use cases with a lower to, low, low TCO. So let's go into the first bucket which is enterprise use cases, right? How do we transform companies, whether it is you know, in here in Munich or, or globally? You know, we are working with companies all the way from you know, um, um, uh, just setting up IT, uh, IT hubs within the company to help with employee efficiency, connected vehicle data, uh, factory floors, um, you know, helping with code generation and test case generation and all. And um, you know, there's, there's just a whole breadth of use cases here. I'm going to take two use cases, just quickly go over it. One, you might be familiar with vModel. It's for design and development, right? Pretty much all companies have tons of requirements. Uh, like uh, the last I talked to a customer, there's like a million requirements to develop a vehicle, right? So when you look at the vModel, design and development, the left side is more design, and the right side is more testing validation. The middle is development. So how do you introduce agents into the mix? And remember, I want to make sure everyone understands the definition of an agent here. An agent is not just a bot, right? There is planning, reasoning, acting, learning as part of it, right? I can go on and on, but we have limited time here. But introducing the right agents in the workflow are super important. That's where you get the effective usage. And just to get requirements right is a big deal within OEMs. So we are helping many customers with the V model. Another use case, totally different, is on the factory floor. We work with um, the partner ServiceNow. This is just an example here. But ServiceNow, this is a typical assembly line in manufacturing, where you, for example, you have a technician that the, you know, that has a problem where the machines have gone down. You know, it might take hours to find the root cause and then fix it, right? So what happens if you introduce agents into the mix where you have, let's say, a monitoring AI agent to determine where the issue is, maybe have um, 
um, uh, CV, computer vision technology, that's automatically detecting what's happening. Then you have a diagnostic AI agent that augments the human through a RAG pipeline. Now again, I can go into depth in terms of what RAG is, but just for sake of it, just assume a helper. A helper to the human is what you can assume as uh, the diagnostic AI agent. And that helps the human detect and diagnose the issue very rapidly. And then the last is uh, you know, a procedural and safe safety AI agent. Now, by the way, these are three examples. You can go on and on. The bottom line is the amount of savings for the customer. You know, I, I pitched this to a couple of customers along with ServiceNow, and they love it. Why? Because it's cutting the resolution time from hours to minutes, and you all may know in the manufacturing field, every minute is several hundreds of thousands of dollars, right? So you want to save cost for them. So this is another example. I want to shift from enterprise now to in-vehicle, which might be more relatable to many people here, because people love cars, people love what's happening inside cars, right? So there's a lot of AI happening in cars, especially in, uh, in China, right? China is leading the way in terms of innovation. So you're talking about personalization, multimodality, companion, sentry mode, all of that's happening. So these are some use cases that we have been working. Think of agents, what I described, agents inside the car now, acting on behalf and helping the driver of the vehicle, right? Helping with safety, helping as a companion, a personal assistance. So all of this is happening at a very rapid pace along with autonomous vehicles, right? So you combine self-driving with cool features, and all of a sudden, you have a home on wheels, right? You're sitting there, you're relaxing, you're just asking the assistant. Tesla has done a great job with Grok, right? Grok is integrated everywhere, and now it's, it's pretty seamless. Quick example of an agent. This is more of a, a predictive maintenance use case, roadside assistance, but it gives you an understanding of how an agent that I described before would help inside the car. And also, I wanted to show you the element of hybrid modality, hybrid agents. What is a hybrid agent? A hybrid agent is working both inside the vehicle as well as in the back end, in the cloud, right? So in this scenario, you have the driver you know, saying that he got a flat tire or it's automatically detected, right? And inside the car, you have ASR, TTS, and all that happening. And the orchestrator is sending it intelligently either inside locally for private data or it's sending it to the cloud. And in the cloud, it's integrating with the repair shops, calendar, with your calendar, et cetera, and it's automatically finding a roadside assistant that comes to your car. Pretty simple use case if you think about it, but imagine if it happens all proactively. That's what is happening. Um, so how does this architecture work, right? Um, I'm going to get into a little bit of technical detail here. So how does the architecture work? Um, you have two elements here, and this is where NVIDIA really helps. You have the AI factory, which is could be cloud, on-prem infrastructure. How do we help companies develop agents? That's what is shown on the bottom side. And on the top, you have in embedded, embedded SOCs, right? And NVIDIA does both, just to be clear. We have embedded solutions and we have data centers, right? So how do we help companies develop the agents, AI, in the cloud, in the AI factory? And then how do we bring that on the top side where you have the ASR, the TTS flows and all, and you have agents running both in the car as well as in the cloud? This is not easy to do. Some companies have got it right. As I said, we are working with pretty much all the companies to make this a reality. Some are ahead, some are behind. But um, we have solutions in this diagram. You see solutions like ASR, TTS, a reasoning model. All of that are super important to get right. We provide the components. We will not provide the end product that's up to the customer. 
but NVIDIA is all about providing full stack platform. The other thing is, as I said, we provide both AI factory, enterprise, and in vehicle. So the, the transition or the migration from cloud to car is very seamless. Why? You must have heard the term CUDA. NVIDIA invented CUDA. That's one of our crown jewels, right? So you can see CUDA is there on both sides. So when, when you have a model, let's say, you know, Llama or DeepSeek or whatnot, you are my, you're using that model on both the, the cloud as well as embedded, and it works seamlessly. Of course, there's some more optimization that could be done based on the target, but it works seamlessly. Um, this is not easy to do on other, um, you know, other platforms, let's say, uh, other vendors. So NVIDIA has that full end-to-end -end solution. This is what we call full stack while allowing the customer to differentiate at the end product. So just want to make sure that's clear. On the in-vehicle compute, we um, have multiple solutions. Um, you know, an IVI-based solution for cockpit. We have what we call an AI box, an AI computer, or a central com uh, uh, compute platform. So if you are interested, we can talk about both these AI factory as well as the in-compute. Um, an example of what we are doing with a partner, just like I mentioned ServiceNow on the enterprise side, there's a company, Thundersoft, that we work with on the in-vehicle side. On the in-vehicle side, Thundersoft helps, uh, helps customers provide that end-to-end -end solution using NVIDIA's platform and tools, both the cloud and embedded side. So these are some sample use cases that they have done. You can see the timeline that they're showing all the way from you know, an MLM agent, a multimodal agent that is able to you know, recognize, remember your memory, and then you know, do parking, sentry mode, all of that from morning to night. Right? This is just an example. Um, I'll give you a real world example of public information, which is Ford here how they are using AI, just to give you an example. In the first, you see how they use design, uh, how they use AI agents for helping design, basically the V model. Um, the second one shows how they're using AI agents in the contact center for customer service, another enterprise use case. The third is an in-vehicle use case using repair manuals, right? RAG and repair manuals. This quote is very interesting. Uh, Ford engineers make products as good as anyone in the world. However, it's necessary to speed up to be competitive. The engineering cycle times of Chinese OEMs are quite fast. I'm sure you all know this, but this is what we're dealing with, and I'm sure we can help you get there, right? So, um, and look at the savings. You're cutting hours to seconds in some cases. So, um, so a lot of good stuff we can do together. I wanted to give you an example that kind of brings you all together. Um, so final thoughts, right? My last uh, slide here. So enabling enterprise and in-vehicle Gen AI use cases is, is complicated. There's a lot of breadth. People get confused, you know. Do I use Phi, Microsoft Phi? Do, you use, do I use DeepSeek? Do I use Llama, Mistral, Claude, Nova? There's so many models. Do I use, you know, do I do fine-tuning, RAG, et cetera? We can help you with that. Um, we can help you with the V model, with factory floors, et cetera. In vehicle, I talked about that. Onboarding agents, Jensen, our CEO, has rightly said the IT department of every company is going to become like the HR department, but for agents, right? So it's, it's an important thing. Um, and NVIDIA, the value that we provide, going back to the root, is accelerated computing. We help accelerate pretty much every workload with the right tools, both inside and outside the vehicle, and we are here to help. So my goal is to help you transform yourself into an AI factory and an AI vision. So that said, thank you so much. I'll be around and uh, happy to take questions. Yeah. Thank you.